we've been in meetings with Pastor. Let me tell you what Pastor said. What? Let me tell you something Pastor said. He told his story. Pastor, this is Pastor Chris's story. Please listen. He was having a program in South Africa, a healing school program in South Africa. He said, he, he got up one day and could hardly walk. This person, Chris, he could hardly walk. He could hardly sit. Excruciating pain from head to toe, everywhere. The healing service is coming. And he's wondering what's going to happen. By Saturday, he was thinking, what's going to happen? Lord, should I shift the meeting? Should I hold the meeting? The Lord said, hold the meeting. Sunday, healing service. He could barely walk. He got dressed managed to enter the car sat down in the car and was wondering what's going to happen he got to the healing school as soon as he got to the healing school opened the door he was fine he came out fine perfect everything was gone minister to people people got healed all kinds of miracles as soon as the meeting was over he walked back into the car, everything came back. Now hear what the Spirit told him. That went on through the time he was in South Africa. He was flying back to Nigeria. And as he was flying back, and now remember that at this point he had done everything. He had casted, bind, sent out, rebuked. He had done everything. You see, as he entered the plane, and sat. Look out here what the Spirit of God said. The Spirit of God said, if you listen to this message, this message, this message, this message of Pastor Chris, you'll be fine. Did you hear? Did you? So, Pastor Chris now sat down and took Pastor Chris's message in the plane and was listening. He was listening. And listening, and listening, and listening, and listening, and listening. He said, before he flew from South Africa back to Nigeria, five hours, one message after another, one message after another, by the time they were landing, he said, that thing did not only go, it never came back. And this time, he didn't pray. He told us that the Holy Spirit told him many years ago, he said, if you listen to your messages, you'll grow 10 times. Pastor tells us that he walks on Rhapsody and sends it out. Then when, it, when it's published, he picks a copy like everybody else and sits down every day to study it. Okay. That is a man who wrote it. Look at you. Pastor, I don't know what is happening to my life. Everything is just going kona, 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 kona. Can you just touch me? Let's everything just be fine. Let me tell you something. Develop a habit of listening to the word. See, I'm a pastor and a lot of times I counsel with people. Let me tell you what I found out. A lot of counseling that people come for, they didn't have to come for if they were listening to the word. Because the answer they are looking for is in a message. The answer they are looking for is in the message. Now, a lot of times people make poor decisions and bad decisions. It's also because of the either lack of exposure to the word or not enough exposure 
to the word. You know, not enough exposure to the word. Let me explain something to you. Um, you are a spirit. There is what is called the conditioning of your spirit. The conditioning of your spirit. If you, if you go to the gym, for instance, in the gym, what kind of music do you have in the gym? Slow or upbeat? Answer. Say it again. Upbeat. Is it, do you go to the gym and all the music you hear is upbeat? Yes. All the music you have in the gym is upbeat. Why? Because you came there to do something. And the music is supposed to be part of what helps create the atmosphere for that. The Word of God can condition your spirit for success. It can condition your spirit for success. You want to walk in the Word. You want to live in the Word. Then you will need to condition your spirit. You need to condition your spirit. Let me tell you something else. When I... I will never be poor. I will never be broke. And I know why. I know why. You know? I know why I will never be poor and I will never be broke. I'm not trying not to be poor. I'm not trying not to be broke. You know? I'm not because I will never be. I will never be because as I grew, I, I already told you my story, how when the pastor said, God is your source, I was shocked. Shocked. But I had to study. Why did she say what she said? What's the meaning of this? I studied the word and found the principles of prosperity in the word for myself. For myself. You know, you can get faith by, um, you can have what you call atmospheric or environmental faith. Did you hear what I just said? Huh? Atmospheric or environmental faith. What I mean by that is this. You come into the midst of people with a lot of faith. All of a sudden, your faith goes up. But you leave those people. Your default faith shows up. Who is here with me? Huh? Your default faith shows up. And you live more with default faith than environmental because you will not always be in that environment so if you don't build up your faith that's why sometimes people come to church and while the message is ongoing they're so inspired then then they say because i'm doing ten thousand copies and that's great because that that communal faith is a beautiful thing but because they didn't build their own personal faith when they leave the church doubt attacks them then they begin to wonder why did i say what i said that pledge they made now can be a burden all of a sudden they don't come to church anymore you know i mean why are they not coming ah i don't know what what took me what took over my, my mind you know i don't know what what happened what you need is to build your faith build your faith build your faith Say amen. Build your faith. And the way you build your faith is through the word. Listen to me. Okay. Pastor, my business it just goes up and down. Up and down. What about your study life? How is it going? Pastor. I did try. But your study life is going up and down. Up and down. Why wouldn't your business also be up and down? Say, I have perfect understanding. Say, I go for perfect understanding. 